poet, writer, and political thinker. Dante Alleri was a medieval Italian poet and philosopher whose poetic trilogy, The Divine Comedy, which comprises sections representing the three tiers of the Christian afterlife, Purgatory, Heaven, and Hell made an indelible impression on both literature and theology. An Italian poet and moral philosopher fell out of favor and was exiled for life by the leaders of the Guelphi Neri or Black Glyphs, the political faction in power at the time. Dante may have been driven out of Florence, but this would be the beginning of his most productive artistic period. In his exile, reports place him in Paris, but his visit to the city can't be verified. Several days passed, money faded so quickly and ended being a beggar. All he can do is to beg for money near to his cave. The cave was his shelter that time, where he sleep and hide under the rain. and the unexpected journey begins. In the middle of the journey of his life, Dante finds himself lost in a dark wood, and he cannot find the straight path. He cannot remember how he wandered away from his true path that he should be following. But he is in a fearful place, impenetrable and wild.
Dante was around 12 years old, it was arranged that he would marry Gemma Donati, the daughter of a family friend. Around, the pair married. But Dante was in love with another woman Beatrice Portinari, who would be a huge influence on Dante. Beatrice Bice di Falco Portinari was an Italian woman who has been commonly identified as the principal inspiration Dante met Beatrice when she was but nine years old, and he had apparently experienced love at first sight. The pair were acquainted for years, but Dante's love for Beatrice was courtly, which could be called an expression of love and admiration, usually from afar, and unrequited. Beatrice died unexpectedly in 1290. He looks up from this dismal valley and sees the sun shining on the hilltop. After resting for a moment, he begins to climb the hill towards the light. Suddenly confronted by a leopard, which blocks his which blocks his way and he turns to evade it. Then a hungry lion appears more fearful than the leopard. But a she-wolf comes forward and drives Dante back down into the darkness of the valley. Just as Dante begins to feel hopeless in his plight, a figure approaches him. It has difficulty speaking, as though it had not spoken for a long time. At first Dante is afraid. but then implores it for help, whether it be man or spirit. It answered, Not a man now, but once I was. It is the shade of Virgil, who wrote the Aeneid, and lived in the times of the lying and false gods. Just as three wild animals threatened to attack him, Dante is rescued by the ghost of Virgil, a celebrated Roman poet and also Dante's idol. When asked why in hell he came, Virgil answers that the head honkos of heaven Virgin Mary and Santa Lucia felt sorry for Dante and asked the deceased love of Dante's life. Beatrice To send someone down to help him. And voila! Virgil to the rescue. As an appropriate guide because he's very much like Dante.
a fellow writer and famous poet. Dante hails Virgil as his master and the inspiration for all poets. When Virgil hears how Dante was driven back by the she-wolf, he tells Dante that he must go another way because the she-wolf snares and kills all things. However, Virgil prophesies that someday, a marvelous greyhound, whose food is wisdom, love, and courage, will come from the nation between Feltro and Feltro. And save Italy, chasing the she-wolf back to hell. Virgil commands Dante to follow him and see the horrible sights of the damned in hell. The hope of those doing penance in purgatory. And if he so desires, the realm of the blessed in paradise. Another guide will take him to this last realm, which Dante cannot enter.
Dante readily agrees, and the two poets begin their long journey. Virgil takes Dante on a guided tour of hell, through all its nine circles and back up into the air of the mortal world. The first circle of hell, Limbo, considered pre-hell, just contains all of the unbaptized and good people born and before the coming of Christ, who obviously couldn't be saved by him. Virgil resigns here, along with a bunch of other Greek and Roman poets. In the second circle, Lustful sinners are tossed around by endless storms. Dante then awakes in the third circle, where the gluttonous sinners suffer under a cold and filthy rain. The next stop on the tour is the fifth circle, where the wrathful and sullen are immersed in the muddy river Styx. As they cross from the sixth to the seventh circle, where the violent are punished, Virgil finally begins explaining the layout of hell. We soon learn that all human sins are divided into three big categories, incontinence, 
or lacking self-control, violence, and fraud. Everything Dante has witnessed so far has fallen under the first category. The seventh circle will show all the violent sinners. Then the final two circles will include all the sinners of ordinary fraud and treacherous fraud. Finally, Dante and Virgil ready themselves to cross to the eighth circle. The eighth circle contains ten pouches, each containing different types of sinners. Now that they've finished their tour, Virgil tells Dante that it's time to leave hell for good. With Dante clinging to Virgil's back, the two climb down Lucifer's massive body, which spans the diameter of the entire Earth, and arrive in the southern hemisphere. Here. Virgil and Dante follow a path back up to the surface of the earth and emerge to see heaven's stars. Me. Mm -hmm. 